name's Sheena. Sheena is a character that's that's incredibly vulnerable and yet very strong, and um, she's very multifaceted, and that's kind of unusual to find these days. Former Charlie's Angel Tanya Roberts was chosen from over 2,000 actresses to play Sheena, the heroine whose beauty is matched by her courage and bravery. Well, she's uh, great looking, first of all. Uh, it's a uh, first impression. I think she has a color of uh, blue eyes that um, you don't see every day. Say what you mean. Stop using words you know I do not understand. You get totally involved when you're on location. When you're on a set in Los Angeles, uh, you break away, you go home, you watch television, you see the news, you get involved in what's going on around, around you. But in Africa, when you're here, <laughs> you get involved with Africa. <laughs> You have no choice but to think, what are the lions eating today? To keep Sheena as authentic as possible, producers cast a real-life African princess, Elizabeth of Toro, in one of the film's most important roles. I've journeyed many days to Azad. Where do I find the key? As an African princess, I was brought up to be a symbol and the guardian of our own civilization. And that is precisely what the shaman is. Sheena has grown up in the jungle. She has a, sort of a telepathy with the animals, which she's, which she's learned from the shaman who is her mother, like the Mother Earth, the African woman who brought her up. Impress me, now. My heart goes with you, shaman. And my fear. Keep the fear inside you. Enough of my own. Before the cast and crew of Sheena traveled to Kenya for five rigorous months of location filming, Tanya Roberts spent weeks working with a number of wild animals and their trainers. Tabu. Hey, hey. good boy. <laughs> so that's one of the first things we teach him. Of course, we turn him loose and we can go a long distance. Yeah, off the chain, right? Right, off the chain. Or also by the buzzer, keep him walking next to me, right? Right, keep him next to you, start him out with you on mm -hmm. a stay, or have another trainer release him. And then have another trainer call him to the pan with the buzzer. And then we pick him up with what we call a catch rope. And when they're loose, we can just throw that right around their head, and we've got them caught up. I worked uh, with Ted in a scene which we're in a Land Rover, and we're trapped and surrounded by several different lions. And at one point, a lion is supposed to come up to my window and stay there. I am supposed to feed him meat off camera, below camera, nice. to keep the lion inside of the car. Yes. Uh -huh. And everything was fine, except this was my first experience with the lion, and he came up, and I'm playing with the lion and saying my lines and giving him meat, and I reach down, and there's no more Your meat friends. down there. He was pressed against my face, 400 pounds. Everybody starts to panic because the lion's in the car now. They're going, are you okay, are you okay? I'm going, I'm just saying, get the lion off my face. For the cast and crew of Sheena, the African continent, and Kenya in particular, was more than just a place to work. It left an indelible imprint. Before I came out, I was so afraid of, you know, living in tents and having gorillas come in in the middle of the night or lions or, you know, no water, freezing cold showers, you have a bucket, that's it. You know, no light, no electricity, just, you know, I don't know what, candles. Or, but we've been in great hotels and uh, the, it's just like anywhere else, actually, except when you wake up in the morning and look at it, it's amazing. It's Africa. Sheena, this month on HBO.